streaming from your computer and from all over the internet. This is all Andy Alfred on Clayfan 2-3. And now, your host of all Andy Alfred, Andy Alfred. more Friday, of course, here on All Andy Offer. Will the Tigers be able to close the door this weekend in Minnesota? Will the Tribe beat out Steven Strasburg and the Washington Nationals? Hey, the Mudhens are on a hot streak. So are the Heat. Oh, I love you guys, and welcome into this Friday, June 14th edition of All Andy Offer, right here on Clay Fan 2. Three. I am your host, Andy Alford, welcoming you into the man cave and welcoming you into this Friday. By the way, happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there watching this program. I want to give a special happy Father's Day to my father, Dennis Alford. Love you, Dad. You know I do. Uh, been backing me up ever since I was born, so uh, he is amazing. And my dad is unbelievable, but uh, we'll get into that in a little bit later on in the program. But we have some baseball to get into tonight. Especially for the Tigers. Will the Tigers finally bounce back and have somebody to finally close the games for them? After the horrible situation that happened on Wednesday evening afternoon, actually, in Kansas City. Detroit will open up a series tonight with the Minnesota Twins. It'll be a three-game set with the Twins. No Justin Verlander in these in these games. Rick Porcello on the hill tonight at 8-10 on Fox Sports Detroit. He is 3-3 three three with a 4.86 ERA. He'll take on uh, Diamond for Minnesota, who's 4-5 with a 5.19 ERA. Game time, 8-10. Saturday will be Anibal Sanchez on the hill. He's 6-5 with a 2.65 ERA. He'll take on Danuno, who's 2-1 with a 3.47 ERA. 7-15 start time at game on FSN Detroit. And the concluded game on Sunday will be Detroit throwing to the hill. Doug Fister. 5-4 with a 3.28 ERA. He's not that bad, but especially in this series, I think we can at least take two maybe. If we can take at least one, two games out of this series, I think Saturday and Sunday would be a good p pitching matchup because Walters is on the hill for Minnesota. He's 2-1 with a 2.49 ERA. So let's hope we get to Diamond and Denudo on Friday and Saturday, uh, all games on FSN Detroit. Well, however, on the opposite end of the lake, uh, the Thousand Lakes, on the Great Lakes, the Cleveland Indians will be hosting the Washington Nationals. We're crazy about the Nationals and nuts about the Nets. Great pitching setup this weekend in Cleveland. Gio Gonzalez will start on the hill for Washington. He's 3-3 three three with a 3.59. It will be the ace of the Cleveland Indian staff, Justin Masterson, who is 8-5 with a 3.68 ERA game time, 7.05. Uh, Saturday's game will be at 7:15. It will be washed. It will be Ryan Zimmerman on the hill. He's nine and three with a two ERA. He'll take on Scott Casimir, who is three and four with a 5.33 ERA. That game 7:15. And then the concluding game on Sunday, it will be Corey Kluber on the hill. He's four and four with a 4.08 ERA. He'll take on the returning Steven Strasburg off the IR. He is three and five with a 2.54 ERA. Game time 105. You can watch all games on S T. 
yesterday afternoon there was a lot of day games going on yesterday afternoon the uh, the uh, Cardinals were one or two to one over the New York Mets Cincinnati loses in a heartbreaker to the to the Chicago Cubs six to five Washington five Colorado four the Oakland A's beat the New York Yankees three to two in 18 innings Mariano Rivera gets a blown save uh, Baltimore five Boston four that's in 13 San Francisco blanks the Pittsburgh Pirates 10 to nothing Kansas City 10 Tampa Bay one Toronto three Texas won, and Philadelphia was a winner 3-2 over the Minnesota Twins. Now looking at the American League Central standings going into tonight's play. Detroit leads to the division. They are 30-28 and 28 and 6-4 and in their last 10. Cleveland is in second place. They are 32-33, and 30, 32 and 33, excuse me. 4.5 out, 2-8 and eight in their last 10. Uh, the Kansas City Royals are 31 and 33, five games out of first place, eight and two in their last ten. Minnesota's in fourth place; they are 29 and 34, six and a half games out of first place, five and five in their last ten. And rounding out the division is the Chicago White Sox; they are 28 and 35, seven and a half out, four and six in their last ten. Notable series for this weekend to take a look at if you're watching any game. Milwaukee is in Cincinnati. The Angels are hosting the New York Yankees. And Washington is on the road. Like I said, the only interleague game between American AL and the NL is Washington taking on Cleveland. Well, I have to do this. Fortunately, somebody has called me out on Prince Fielder. Again. He has... He, I, will, I will name names now. His name is Chris. You know who you are, Chris. You've called out me and saying that Prince Fielder is a better hitter than than uh, Miguel Caprera. He's a better fielder, too. I disagree with that entirely. I Since May 25th, Prince Fielder's on-base percentage is a 338. It's almost his weight. His, his defensive run saves is a negative 4. Now, Miguel Cabrera is a negative 6. But Miguel's been on base. His on base percentage is in the 400s, folks. Plain and simple. Need to bench Prince Fielder. And we need to get rid of Papa Grande. Because I, Jose Valverde, I've had enough. Bruce Rondon is ready, folks. He's ready here in Toledo, ready to go up. He had his 11th save of the season yesterday against the Syracuse Chiefs. Even though the Chiefs are in last place. He got his 11th save. He's ready to go. I don't know what Leland and the administration up there is holding up and waiting on Bruce Randone, but he needs to come up to the majors and close these games. And speaking of the Mud Hens, the Mud Hens did win yesterday 9 to 7 over the Syracuse Chiefs and make it 4 out of 5 in their last in the last 5 games. Ortega gets the win, he goes to 2 and 0 with a 0 ERA. Uh, Gracha for Syracuse gets the loss. He goes to 3 and 6 with a 4.76 ERA. Perez Homer for Syracuse's fourth of the season. Danny Dorn, his 13th of the year. Bruce Rondon, like I said, gets his 11th save of the season in front of 2,985 game time, three hours and four minutes. Now tonight, the Mudheads will continue the series against Syracuse this weekend before returning home next week. The Toledo Mudheads will take on Syracuse at 7.05 tonight. It will be Jose Alvarez on the hill. He's 5-4 and four with a 2.42 ERA after that beautiful start up in Detroit. Let's see how he does back in Toledo. He'll take on Rosenbaum, who's 5-3 with a 3.44 ERA, 7.05 start on 12.30 WCWA in iHeart Radio Station, so you can turn on your iHeart Radio. Saturday will be Sean Hill. He's 0-3 with a 6.23 ERA. He'll take on Tehran, who's 0-3 with a 6.23 ERA, 7.05 start. And then the concluded game on Sunday, it will be Hankins on the Hill. He's 2-3 with a 3.31 ERA. Syracuse has not yet decided who they're going to throw on the Hill. 2.05 start time. In that affair. Well, looking at the IOS standings, this is what it looks like going into today's play. Indianapolis leads the division. They are 45 and 23, 6 and 4 in their last 10. Columbus is 32 and 34. They are 12 games out of first place, 3 and 7 in their last 10. Louisville is in third place. They're 31 and 35, 13 games out of first place, 4 and 6 in their last 10. And rounding out the division, of course, it is the Toledo Mud Hens, who are 27 and 41. 18 games out of first place. 7-3, and three, though, in their last 10 games. They are starting to get on a hot streak, folks. They're playing the right teams at the right time. They played Syracuse, and they played... Uh, if I go back in time here. They played Syracuse, and they have played a hot 
Rochester team. They played them at a good period of time. Both teams have been running off of a streak. Now they're playing them at a down downturn. And let's see what happens. 27 and 41, Phil. You're almost close to 30 wins. Holy crap. It'll be sooner enough. Soon enough. Well, maybe we'll get to 500. We're never going to get to 500. It's never going to happen. Why we need to fire Phil Nevin? Fire Phil Nevin. Follow the show at all Andy Alford on Twitter. All Andy Alford on Twitter. You knew this was going to happen. I knew it. I didn't want to say it on the air. Miami looked very down that last night. LeBron James had 33 points and 11 rebounds. Tony Parker had 15 points and 4 rebounds. It's the Miami Heat. Win game four, 109-93. Puts the pressure back on San Antonio to win on Sunday night at 8. That's when the next game is. Sunday night at 8 o'clock. It'll be Miami taking on San Antonio on ABC. Well, NHL news for you today. Evgeny Malkin signs his extension for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Uh, so that locks him into Pittsburgh for a long period of time. We'll see what happens with that. Also, this upcoming Saturday is the NHL Awards. Will Sergei Bobrovsky get his Vesna Trophy? I hope so. I'm rooting for him. I don't think uh, Henrik Lundqvist deserves it. After the, poor, after the poor performance he played against the Boston Bruins in the second round of the playoffs, I've, I'm hoping that Sergei Bobrovsky does get the Vesna Trophy. But uh, Game 2 will be for the Stanley Cup Final Saturday night at 8 o'clock on NBC or CBC. Uh, that will be very interesting. Boston down in the series, one to nothing, in favor of the Chicago Blackhawks. Well, this weekend also here in the Northwest Ohio, Southeast Michigan area, it is MIS up and it will be the Quicken Loans 400 for NASCAR. So we're rooting for Carl Edwards, and of course, in the 99 Affleck Ford Fusion. We'll see what happens with him this weekend. Uh, we'll give you the results on on Monday's show. Speaking of Monday's show, we'll be talking, recapping the weekend that was, recap that what happened. And so on and so forth. So, and I hope you guys have a great weekend. Some recommendations for this weekend: uh, if you're having any dental issues or any dental problems, go over and see my friends at Dr. Zuhari and Fisher's office in Rossford, Ohio, on River Road. Dr. Z can take care of anything. He has root canals, dentist-wise, by the way, root canals, Invisalign, teeth whitening, just a routine checkup. You name it, he'll take care of it. Set an appointment by calling 419-666-3327 or visit ZFDentist.com. They have Fix My Smile. They can fix yours at the same time, too. Don't forget to pick up the new Big Time Rush album, 24-7. Popular hit, uh, the 24-7 uh, picture. This is a good song as well, too. We'll close the show tonight with that on the program, so you'll listen to that. Also, the Mudhens return home on the 17th. To take on the Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs before they open up a series with the with the uh, with the Pawtucket Red Sox, and we will be on the air with you guys on next Monday, not this upcoming Monday, but next Monday, either the Monday after, not this Monday, but the following Monday, the twenty uh, seventh. The Mudhens will have a day game. We will be on the air with you in the concluding of that game. All right. So, and also, I want to give a shout out like again. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. I hope you all have guys have a great Father's Day out there. And, um, you know, I love you guys. Uh, this has been a very interesting week. A lot of people have been commenting on the show about hating and also finding out some information about myself at the same, about people, what have people said about me at the same time, too. So, you know what? Brush it off. Deal with it. It's a new day. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. And I am feeling very, very, very good. I am Andy Alford. I hope you have a terrific weekend. God bless you, and I hope you guys have a great weekend as well. And as always, I'm pulling for you. We're all in this together. The game of life, and keep your stick on the ice. And to the teams behind me, and to you, the fans at home, go Tigers and go Mudheads. Keep the winning streak going. And to you at home, victory is sweetest when you have tasted defeat. Have a nice night, everybody, and a great weekend. I'll see you on Monday for another edition of All Andy Alfred. Love you.
Oh, 